If you have a pen display, that's a drawing tablet with a screen, for example, a Wacom Cintiq, you may have noticed that pen displays sometimes come with a bit of sparkle effect on the screen. This is called anti-glare sparkle because it's caused by the anti-glare treatment that is applied to many pen displays. The amount of sparkle that you see will vary quite a bit between pen displays. Some have a little, some have a lot. In October of 2022, I made a video talking about anti-glare sparkle. That video was really focused on what exactly it is, what causes it, how much the sparkle can vary between tablets, and how we could measure it. In that video, I also talked about two different sources for anti-glare sparkle. Anti-glare film, which is a plastic film that sits on top of the glass of a pen display, and etched glass. That is a subtle physical texture of the glass of the pen display. Both these anti-glare treatments reduce glare and reflections by dispersing the light that's hitting the tablet from the lighting in the room. However, the light that's coming up from the display panel underneath the glass, that light is also dispersed. And the dispersal of that light is what's causing the sparkle. In that video, I briefly talked about the possibility of removing the anti-glare sparkle. At that time, I believed there was really no way to deal with the etched glass surface, and I didn't recommend removing existing films on tablets. I have learned a little more since that video, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how we might remove or reduce the anti-glare sparkle. Again, there are two types of anti-glare treatments, anti-glare film and etched glass. Let's talk about pen displays that come with an anti-glare film first. The simplest thing we can do is just remove the anti-glare film. This removes the sparkle, but leaves us with two problems. First, we'll see reflections and glare on the glass. And second, the glass is not protected by anything. Remember, the manufacturer intended the tablet to be used with this film on top, and we do not want to damage the glass. We can solve one of these problems by adding a clear film on top of the glass. This clear film will not disperse the light, so everything will look good, and it will protect the glass, but of course, it doesn't address the original problem of glare and reflections. But for some of you, adding a clear film might be the perfect solution. It'll get rid of all the sparkle, and it may work for your lighting conditions. The second option is, instead of replacing the anti-glare film with a clear film, is to replace it with another anti-glare film. Specifically, we would be looking for an anti-glare film that has less sparkle than the original film we started with. Of course, these solutions require removing the original anti-glare film that came with your tablet. And the manufacturer may or may not support removing that film. If a manufacturer has designed the film to be removable, then it should be easy to remove. And the manufacturer may even sell replacement films. A great example here is the Huion Canvas 13. Huion has a YouTube video showing how to remove the anti-glare film and install the replacement. I think XP Pen also has at least one model where they support removing the film and replacing it with a film that they sell. On the other hand, for the vast majority of tablets, manufacturers do not mention anything about removing the anti-glare film. Certainly, you can still try and remove it, but removing that film might void the warranty. Also, it might be more difficult to remove the film because they weren't intended or designed to be removed. And you are going to have to be careful because you certainly do not want to damage the glass of the tablet. If you damage the glass, it's a very expensive repair and you may have to buy a new tablet. So if you're going to go down the route of removing an anti-glare film, in the case that the manufacturer hasn't specifically said that you should remove it, then you have to be prepared to assume some risk. We've been talking about tablets that come with anti-glare films. What about the tablets that come with etched glass surfaces? I don't know of any way to remove the surface texture on that etched glass. But as I've talked to people about this topic of dealing with the etched glass, they've offered two ways that might be able to mitigate the effects of the sparkle. Both techniques involve adding a film on top of the etched glass. In one case, a clear film, and in one case, an anti-glare film. Let's talk about the clear film case first. 
The theory here is that when you apply the clear film on top of the glass, that the adhesive on the bottom of the film will kind of fill in the gaps of the texture. And that once those gaps are filled in, and because theoretically the adhesive is optically clear, then the texture will be removed and the light should pass directly through and not be dispersed, or at least not dispersed as much. That should mean we see less sparkle. There is some basis to this theory. You can find YouTube videos where someone has placed scotch tape on top of frosted glass, and then they can look through the frosted glass where the scotch tape is placed. So we're applying that same principle here, and we will test it out in this video. Now let's talk about the second case, which is to put an anti-glare film on top of the etched glass. Now this one seems really paradoxical because the etched glass is already dispersing the light and that's causing the sparkle. And now we're going to place another anti-glare film on top of it and that film is going to disperse the light and cause sparkle also. So at first glance, it seems odd that this would be of any help at all. In fact, it looks like it will get worse. The theory behind this case is that the second layer of dispersal from the film will disperse the light so much that the anti-glare sparkle is kind of blurred out and by that mechanism reduced. Now, of course, that blurring will also occur to the image from the display panel. But depending on the resolution of the display, getting a little bit of blurriness may be worth reducing the anti-glare sparkle. This is a fascinating idea and that's another thing we are going to test in this video. So ultimately, if we want to reduce anti-glare sparkle, but we still want to avoid glare and reflections, then it looks like we have a very similar solution for all the kinds of tablets, which is to put a new film on the tablet. In the original YouTube video I made about anti-glare sparkle, someone left a comment and they mentioned a specific company called Photodon, and they suggested I try out their films. Photodon sells what they call screen protectors. Screen protectors could be made of glass or plastic, but all the ones that Photodon seems to make are plastic films. Here is their overview of the different kinds of films they make. For our case, we are interested in these two kinds of films, anti-glare films and clear films. On the Photodon site, you can find a PDF with lots of information on their films. For example, Here's their chart on the anti-glare films. You can see they have five kinds. Each has a percentage number. That's the amount of glare reduction. And this sheet also talks about how it feels to draw on them and how easy it is to clean. So lots of great information here. And they also have very similar information for all their clear films. I wanted to test out as many films and that might have been very expensive. Fortunately, they sell these sample packs they aren't very expensive at all. Each pack starts around $7. And I bought two packs, anti-glare samples and clear samples. I wasn't interested in the privacy film samples, so I ignored those. You can get these samples in different sizes. To save on cost, I got the smallest sample size, which is two by three inches. This is my testing workbench. I have a Microsoft Surface Pro 8. It is connected to an inexpensive USB microscope the microscope acts just like any other webcam. I mounted the microscope at the end of a flexible arm, and then I placed the microscope about three inches away from the surface of the pen display. And then I used the focus ring on the microscope to adjust for that and get a clear picture. With all that set up, when I needed to take a photo, I just opened up the Windows Photos app and used that to capture what the microscope was seeing. In a minute, you are going to see lots of photos from that microscope and I want to prepare you for what you're going to see. First, remember, as I mentioned in my original video, it can be really tricky to photograph anti-glare sparkle. Sometimes the photos look like there's no sparkle, but when you look at the tablet with your own eyes, you'll see the sparkle. Sometimes the photos exaggerate certain effects of the display panel. The microscope I'm using automatically adjusts the exposure. I can't manually adjust it at all, so you might see brightness changes that I did not see with my own eyes. Overall, the films do reduce brightness very slightly, but I think you would not really notice unless you were looking for it. So just in general, keep in mind that the photos show you one thing, and I will mention what I actually saw with my eyes. I tested with two pen displays, a Huion Canvas Pro 16 Plus 4K. This model uses etched glass, and a Huion Canvas 13 
which is a pen display that uses an anti-glare film. Let's start by looking at the Huion Canvas Pro 16 Plus 4K, and that has etched glass, and we're gonna add the anti-glare films on top of the etched glass. Here's the first photo set. On top, you'll see a photo of the etched glass surface of the tablet. On the bottom, you'll see a photo of that same tablet, except now I've added the Photodon MXH film. This film has a glare reduction strength of 25%. If we look at the bottom photo with the MXH film, you will see a slight reduction in sparkle, and this is what I saw with my own eyes. And it may be very hard to notice in this photo, but with my own eyes, I detected just a tiny bit of blurriness in the image. Another thing that you might notice in the photo is that there is a very subtle grid pattern. Although it is there in the photo, I could not see that pattern with my own eyes. This is the Photodon MXT anti-glare film with a 50% glare reduction. Both the photos and my eyes agree that the image is more blurred, and the photos and my eyes agree that there is a significant reduction in the sparkle. This is the Photodon MXG film, which is rated at 85% glare reduction. To be honest, I had a real hard time distinguishing this from the MXT film at 50%. They both seem to me to be very similar in the amount of sparkle reduced and the amount of blurriness added to the image. Now let's take a look at the clear films on top of that same tablet, the Huion Canvas Pro 16 Plus 4K. This is the Photodon AMC clear film. And since it's clear, obviously it has a glare reduction rating of 0%. Now this is a clear film and the photo may look to you like it reduced the sparkle, but to my eyes, it absolutely did not. I saw no change whatsoever to the sparkle. I did not see any change to sharpness. You can see now that grid pattern I mentioned before. It's much more prominent. At least it's prominent in the photo. My eyes did not see that grid pattern at all. This is the Photodon HSC clear film. It looks just like the previous example. No change to sparkle, no change to sharpness. And that grid pattern is still there that I cannot see with my eyes. This is the Photodon 9HO clear film. It matches the same experience I had with the previous clear films. This is the Photodon MXB clear film. Again, it matches the experience I've had with all the other clear films. Now let's shift our attention to the Huion Canvas 13. This tablet comes with an anti-glare film. And for this tablet, I'm not going to bother testing the clear films. My goal here was to test the films that will reduce the glare and reflections. Before we start looking at the anti-glare films though, let's see what this tablet looks like without any film at all. On top is a photo of that tablet with the original anti-glare film still applied. On the bottom is a photo of that same tablet after I removed that original anti-glare film. So on the bottom, it's just the glass of the tablet. As expected, there is absolutely no sparkle. Everything looks a little sharper. You may also notice that the pixels are more clearly separated by these black lines. That's what it looks like in the photo. It's nowhere near so extreme when I'm looking at it with my own eyes. The image quality, in fact, looks really good. However, now with the glass, it was very easy to see reflections and glare. And of course, the glass is now unprotected. Now let's take a look at the anti-glare films applied to the glass. This is the Photodon MXT anti-glare film rated at 50% glare reduction. The sparkle has diminished quite a bit with this film. The photo makes it look a bit darker, but I don't recall noticing that with my own eyes. This is the Photodon MXG film with an 85% rating for glare reduction. This looks very similar to the previous MXT film. There is a noticeable reduction in sparkle, an increased blur to the image, and the photo makes it look a little darker, but I did not notice this darkness with my own eyes. Here are the results of my testing with the Photodon films on these two tablets. Remember, the goal was to reduce sparkle, but I still wanted to avoid reflections and glare. With the etched glass surface, I saw that adding a clear film on top did not reduce the sparkle. With the etched glass surface, I saw that adding an anti-glare film on top did reduce the sparkle, and it added a little bit of blurriness. With the anti-glare film, I found that I could replace it with another anti-glare film that did reduce the sparkle. 
Keep in mind, all these tests were done with a very specific combination of things. I had a specific microscope, I had specific tablets, I used a specific manufacturer with very specific samples I tested, I did this experiment under my own lighting conditions. You might have a very different experience. So I urge you to do your own experiments and find something that works for you. If you want to go down the route of using films on top of your tablets, just remember, Photodon was just a suggestion from one of my YouTube comments. Other manufacturers exist. So please do some research and see if they have samples you can test. If you have suggestions for other manufacturers we should be looking at, then please leave a comment on this video and tell us about them. If you do want to try the Photodon films, you should know that they offer pre-cut films for many devices and many tablet brands. For example, here's a list of Wacom tablets for which they have pre-cut films available for purchase. If your tablet isn't on that list, you can always order a custom cut film. In this video, I was really focused on how the sparkle effect would be reduced. In other words, the visual impact. I didn't spend a lot of time drawing on the films, maybe less than a minute. Based on that time I spent drawing, which again was very little, all I can say is that drawing on the films did not feel slippery, like drawing on glass or an iPad. I don't think it felt like paper either. It just had a generic feel. So I know many of you are really sensitive to how it feels to draw on something. So I encourage you to try out the samples before you commit to a purchase. A few more notes on the films. I saw a very slight reduction in brightness when I applied the films. Even though in some photos it seemed to show up more, my eyes saw a very slight difference. When you're applying these films, please follow the manufacturer's instructions, clean the glass and apply them carefully. Finally, removing the Photodon films was very easy. They didn't leave behind any pieces or adhesive residue or anything, so it worked fine. That brings us to the end. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this video.